Ryan. First guy I want to talk about is Devin Houston. Yep. A month ago, if you'd have asked me where things so with Devin Houston, a month and a half maybe, I'd have said, you know, I know he likes Notre Dame, but, man, Michigan's going to be re- really hard to beat. And here's two reasons why. Number one, Mike Elson was, a, was, was the one who built that early strong relationship with him at Notre Dame. That continued when he went to Michigan. The other thing is, is Devin Houston has an older brother, Caleb, who was a five-star recruit and a starting freshman on their basketball team this year. And so there was, and he liked Michigan a lot. And there was a lot of thought that Michigan was the team to beat. Notre Dame and now Washington have slowly just kept chiseling and chiseling and chiseling and chiseling away to the point now, Ryan, where even without a visit, I think Notre Dame has been able to, to, to catch up and surpass Michigan. I all the intel we have, I believe, is that right now we expect him to make a decision. He'll be all he'll, he'll, soon, right? We expect to make a decision soon. And moving forward, you say, okay, can they can they get him to close soon? I think that's the key because I think the more they can get these kids to commit, you know, the, the more you can get a, a guys to commit, the more it's the what we're saying with the defensive line is kind of what we said the offensive line. You got to get a couple of them on the board to then be able to say to the others, hey, if you really want to be here, we got to know, right? And so Devin Houston was a guy that they zeroed in on. They pushed far, hard for him, and Al Washington has done a phenomenal job there. So the reason I wanted to bring up Devin Houston is because he's probably the lowest ranked guy of the, of the guys on the board. But he's very, very important because of all the guys on the board, he's the one guy that you look at and say for sure that guy can play nose guard in this defense. And nose guard is not like it is in a lot of other defenses. It's not a, it's not a, you know, hey, you're going to do all the work but not getting the reward. As Kurt Heine showed two years ago, they want a nose guard that can make plays. That's why they like Howard Cross so much right now because he's making a ton of plays. In this defense, the nose guard has to attack and be disruptive. And Devin Houston, in a lot of defenses, is a, is a three technique. In the sure. Notre Dame defense, he's a nose, and he can be a good one. And nose was super important in this class because the only nose they've really signed last year was was Donovan Heinish, and I don't even think he's a pure nose. He's two hundred seventy pounds, right? You know, and and so being able to to kind of close the gap on him and put themselves in the position they're now for for Devin Houston is huge. And now it's about you know, hey, it's it's closing the deal, and I and I really like where Notre Dame is at on this one, and I, it wouldn't shock me if, in the near future, he he decides he wants to make a decision. That's my thoughts. I just want to emphasize it again because I don't think you it, like it's important what you just said there. Devin Houston is a lot more important in this class than people are going to give him credit for because if they land a class that includes Brennan Vernon, Keon Keeley. Bubakar, Triori, and a Jason Moore, let's say, for instance. All those guys are going to – I think they're going to figure out how to play them together, but it's not a perfect fit because there's no guy that's a true nose. You don't have that exact fit into that defense. I think there's ways that you can use them. Dude, you just listed four top 100 players. I I want people to understand this. Like, My point is four top 100 players, right? But what Ryan is getting to – I want to stress this. I'm interrupting you because I want to stress this because I don't think people realize this. I'm – and the NFL draft, you and I were talking about this this morning. NFL draft shows this. People like criticizing, oh, this pick. It's not just about taking the best player. You have to build a team, right? If if you have nine picks in the draft and the best player happens to be a receiver every time, you can't take nine receivers, exactly. right? I know USC thinks they can do that and win a bunch of seven-on-seven seven tournaments, but you need guys that can block and tackle. And so putting a, a, a group of four highly ranked players together doesn't necessarily mean you have a great defensive line. This was my criticism of Texas A&M last year, right? And so to your point, it's not just about landing. You just made a point that you just said, Ryan, mm-hmm. that a group of four top 100 players where Bubakar in the 80s is your lowest ranked guy is not necessarily ideal. And, and I, I, I want to emphasize that because I think that may surprise some people. Now back to your explanation as to why. Yeah, I mean it's 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 about making the defense work, right? And without that nose, the guy that although it is an attack style defense, you're you're still an important player to be able to, to handle the run game, right? And I think a Devin Houston has gigantic potential. I think it was Brandon 
in here that said that he has massive upside. I agree. At that position, I think he does have massive upside because he is a six foot four plus 280 something pound defensive lineman right now mm -hmm. who also plays defensive end for his team most of the time in high school, right. which is, I think just kind of signifies how good of an athlete he is for that position, right? And I think that he is going to give you an intact style. I think he's going to give you a physicality. This kid's going to be 300 pounds before he blinks an eye when he gets to Notre Dame. Like, he's going to be a massive kid. He's a big kid right. overall. So I think it is just paramount to get a guy like him. Although he might end up being your lowest-ranked recruit, recruit on the defensive yeah, line, yeah. I think that tells you how special this class could be. The fact that a top right. 250 kid, top 200 kid by some platform. I, I would put him closer to 150, me, personally. Yeah. Especially as a projection as a nose, because I think that any limitations you might think that he has from a pure athleticism standpoint as a three technique or five technique are completely eliminated at nose. It, it becomes a plus. His athleticism becomes a plus as a nose. So.